Oh, boy. I have a patient today. Her name's Chantel. She has a callus from hell. <sighs> Chantel's case is going to be a challenge because I really do not know how deep these calluses go. Hello? Hi, hello. My name is Dr. Shaver. <laughs> How are you doing? Nice Wait to meet, meet you. Home. Hello? Oh, hi. hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, How are wow. you girls doing today? Oh, Good? I am in pain. pain. You're in pain. Well, I have these wart-like growths. Okay. Um, they're, they're hard as rocks. Right. Sometimes they stick out so far that my, my toes don't touch the ground. Wow. That's my, a big wart cluster. <laughs> yes, it oh is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my, my, my toes, yeah. uh, the front of my feet have literally never touched the ground for the past 10 and a half years. 10 they were, years? They were like this the first time. Really? Yeah. This no lie, they were about that long to where her toes was like this and she wow. walking on the hill, so. Yeah. Wow. What does it feel like? It's like a, a an electric shock of a stabbing pain. You, you will just see it jump. So when you step on that mass, it just sends like an electrical oh, stimulation yes. almost like and they up hurt your leg. Bad to the point I cry. Sure. 24 oh, 7. Man. We gotta check this out. <laughs> yeah, I'm We gotta be... check it out and see what it is, okay? I'm just gonna take off socks and shoes and see how we're looking down here, okay? <sighs> I'm sorry. That's all right. It's okay. So what happened there? You just bumped your feet a little bit? No, it's, it's that's for my nerves. Right. They, they, I feel like I'm being electrocuted just just in this one side mm -hmm. to the point that, that that I cry. Like I really have no other choice. Wow. And, yeah. When things hurt, you know, that's oh, yeah. the reaction, right? She's describing like electric shocks that are coming from these calluses. That's not a callus problem. There's something going on underneath that. So there's a lot of red flags going off right now. You let me know if it's bothering you and I'll stop. Oh no, you're fine. Okay. Man, you can you can see it poking out. Oh yeah. The side here. I'm seeing the callus underneath the sock. You don't really see the callus underneath the sock before taking off the sock. Wow. That's wild. Aren't those beautiful little creatures to look at? I mean, that made me cry me to see, see her feet like that. The left foot isn't any prettier. <laughs> you can see it all through the sock here. Oh, yes. Oh, God, that makes me cry just looking back at him. Okay. I'm pretty blown away. These are hands down some of the most extreme growths on the bottom of someone's feet. It literally looks like you dropped a rock into a thing of mud and it just stuck in the bottom of her feet. Wow. Yeah. Um, you know, it's no wonder you're in so much pain. Like, I, I feel like they're, they're touching the bone. Press against my hand like a gas pedal. Yep, that is painful. Can you push down here? Push, oh, push, boy. push. You can't push? Nope, that hurts. You can barely even push my hand away. You know, I don't even know how you can push your body weight away just by walking. So I hear you, you know, I definitely hear you. Bad news is, is I don't have an exact diagnosis for you right now. So look, they're not warts. This is something way more severe, okay? It's frustrating. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I'm too young to keep going through this. If he can't help me, then most likely I'll end up in a wheelchair. Good, Mom. You know I'm strong. I'm okay, Mom. <laughs> Today's the day of Chantel's surgery, and I'm pretty anxious to get going at these things. Whenever you have masses like this, it's a possibility it could be anything. I mean, it could be a tumor. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that these masses could be. Do you remember Rebecca's case with the Olmstead syndrome? It does remind me a lot of Rebecca. Yeah. And like... But you said it's mostly on heels. Hers was on the heels and on the forefoot. It's like the yeah. way it deposited, it does look like it. Thank you. Fantastic. 
So today the plan for surgery is just to remove each of these calluses and get these things off to the lab for a proper biopsy. You know, one of the biggest fears is just how deep these things do go. Um, to me, these are going almost as far down to her bone. So when I'm excising these out, I just want to make sure that I don't hit any nerves, which could cause nerve damage, or hit any vessels, which could cause a ton of bleeding. So I just want to really be careful and get these off. Starting incision. So I, I want to go really deep. OK. Because like, how else would it never come back? Right. All in one unit. All in one. Wow. Yeah, that is actually kind of like her slice It's stomach. like a plug. <laughs> that is so crazy. Looks like a cork to a wine bottle. Yeah, it does. You know, this is just extremely hard. So you can squeeze it from side to side. There's just no give. It's almost as hard as a rock. The good news right now is that it's not all the way down to bone. Um, it's superficial enough where we'll be able to close it. And I can feel her bone right now, and it's perfect. OK, we'll go on to the next one. Oh, these things are nasty. Wow. This kind of does look like a scallop. <laughs> <laughs> now we just have to close it. That's going to get fun. The biggest worry right now is just getting these closed. It's a very large incision, and it's very round. So we got to take that round mass and get it closed. That's a challenge, especially when there's two next to each other. The bottom of the foot is already very challenging to heal. Every step that we take, that's a lot of weight on the bottom of our feet. When you have two wounds like this, it's just going to be that times 10. So I need to make sure that I close it properly or the wound could break open. And I'm not going to lie, it's going to be a tough one. Lord, I just ask that you God, Dr. Brandon's hands, let him do what he needs to do for my daughter Chantel, so that she be able to walk once again. The masses are extremely large, so she has voids like this, and we need to get that closed. If we don't get them closed, she's going to have a difficult time healing in the future. Uh, we'll do the, the suture guard. Sometimes when you make incisions like this, you need a little added support. And these things provide that. These crazy butterflies called suture guards really helps relieve the tension from the wound and puts it on the outside skin. Good, she's closed. Yeah. Her left foot's done, it's looking really good. We got those crazy mushroom clouded calluses out of there. Right now, Dr. Sarah's working on closing it, and I'm about to draw my attention to the right foot, and then we'll go from there. Decision on right foot. The last one on her right foot was the big daddy of the masses. I mean, you could see how deep he went and also how much he came out. Oof. Yo, oh, look at this. Oh, wow. All right, so right now I'm just going to go after the smallest one. This one almost looked like a nipple. So we popped that third nipple off. Nailed it. Um, we got every single callus off. Um, we're sending them out to the lab for biopsy, so we'll get a definitive diagnosis on exactly what these are. It could be a tumor. Hopefully, it's not Olmstead syndrome. Well, that went really well. Really good. Hopefully, it stays closed and she stays off of it. That's the key. Yeah. All right. Done. Okay, Kate. Let's go. Let's, Let's get out of here. What's up, Chantel? I feel great. Yeah? <laughs> Chantel, you could barely even walk in the office. Oh, no, I could not. So I'm really excited right now to see how these incisions are looking. Yo, <laughs> what? 
<laughs> These look fantastic. Oh my God. Dude, hell yeah. You did great. Fantastic. I've been so happy. You see why the smile, my old yeah. is back all the way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Very happy. This is fire. Let me see the other one. Wow. All of this dark skin around here, that's just from the surgery, and that's all gonna flake off, and it's gonna be the color of the bottom of your feet. I don't have any nerve pain, like the spasms I was having. Yeah. But the biggest thing is, what the heck were they? So I have your biopsy results. Oh my goodness. The good news is that they're benign. There's no cancer. They are cutaneous horns. Oh my God. Bananas, right? Yeah. Essentially, it's just a very, very thick, uncontrolled callus. Would you think that they will possibly come back? Absolutely not. We got <laughs> those things taken out from the base. 